biggest challenge I've been having actually is doing anime reactions, which I think is so funny because of the fact that, you know, I've been living here in Japan for 13 years. You'd think that there'd be an audience that might be kind of interested in my take as uh, someone who lives in Japan, my take on anime doesn't always like uh, click as well as I thought it was going to be. Why do you think it doesn't click like that? Um, I think it's relatability. I think one of the things about a reaction is the fact that you're, it's regular people. It's not professional cr criticism. It's not comedians. It's not actors. It's not entertainers. Um, they can be entertaining, but the whole thing is it's supposed to be very down to earth type of people are relatable people, the everyday man um, and the audience should be able to connect with said people like that. And so I do think some of my hindrance is the fact that I live in Japan, um, that it's sometimes a little hard for some people to relate. Even with my live streams, I've noticed that more and more, it generally are people that are in the chat are people who uh, other foreigners who live in Japan or people who have visited Japan at least once or they have some sort of like connection sort of situation like that. Not anybody uh, in the past. I have had people that are vicariously living through me uh, in Japan, but now there's such an access to so many people that you can kind of pick and choose sort of thing. So you just said one interesting thing mm. about reactions should be by like normal people and relatable and I, I, I preparing for our conversation today I was thinking a little bit about these reaction videos and then it hit me that on Japanese TV if you look at the variety show you always have some talento so these kind of semi-famous people that are regularly on those shows in a small frame yep. square yep. on screen reacting to whatever is going on, yep. whether it's the news, whether it's a joke, whether it's comedy. So you, they always show the reaction of someone who's invited on the show to the audience. Yeah. yeah. But they are not the normal people anymore, right? So people want to see a little bit the reaction of famous yeah. people. How do they think about this? Correct, that? correct. So, and, and I think with that concept, it's a, uh, just a little bit different because the content itself is kind of, I wouldn't say mundane, but it's it's not supposed to be overreactive like that. So it's the talent that makes the situation interesting, you know, and uh, if they can point something out, they'll make it more interesting like that. Yeah, Japanese TV is interesting. It is. It, it is. is. Do you it? watch it a little bit? Um, <laughs> Uh, if NHK is asking, no, but, um, <laughs> if, um, if, uh, yeah, I, I generally does, uh, my, do my wife, you know, it's funny. My wife, who's also Japanese, she doesn't watch much of any Japanese TV either. So once Netflix kind of came around, once a lot of VOD sort of stuff became a service and was included in your television, I noticed we really do not watch we look watch little to none at this point. It's quite interesting about that. However, if we had a bigger house, um, because we, she and I have very different hours. So when she's getting ready for work, I'm sleeping. So in the past, maybe that was her watching the morning news or something like mm -hmm. that to get ready. But nowadays we can't because I'm sleeping like that and vice versa. So yeah, it's, um, I don't really watch too much of anything. I actually, ironically, used to watch more anime and J-dramas when I was living in America. Interesting. Yeah, and I, I mean, I've heard that a lot from a lot of people. Like, they stop watching so much content when they move to Japan. They, like, they don't really lose the feeling, but they lose the... It's like, okay, I'm already here, like that. It's the same reason why I don't really watch J-vloggers or travel videos about Japan because I'm already here in Japan. I can just do it myself like that. So it, it kind of makes sense in some ways. Going back to the reactions, and as we see on Japanese TV, <clears throat> reactions of, of people are quite popular. Mm. Do they have this reaction niche in Japan as well, where on YouTube you'll see Japanese people reacting to various things as a genre, on as content creation? Um, yes. Uh, yeah, basically, yes, but not in the same format because, um, you know, we have this ongoing, as I'm sure you're familiar, when you go to the movie theaters, um, 
uh, right before the movie starts, there's always this one like uh, mannequin kind of camera guy always talking about no download or something like that, or it's illegal or yes. something like that. There's always this, this ongoing campaign about bootlegs and torrents and don't download all this. And a lot of people's opinion is still, and Japan's is still a little old fashioned with this. Um, it is getting better, but um, Japan company, Japanese companies generally don't like things being reacted to on YouTube, mainly because they just can't make money off of it and they don't like it being out. Like one of the um, Kohaku, the New Year's event the other day uh, that happened a few months ago, um, was a huge, huge performance with a bunch of international uh, Korean bands uh, coming together with uh, Yao Sobi. Yeah, Yoa Sobi. Yoa Sobi doing that idol Even song. Even Queen was there. Uh, who? Queen. Queen was there too. Huge international prospects, right? Blew up on Twitter like crazy. Um, shut down by NHK. And it's so funny to me because of the fact that they they made it a point to be so international, but keep it within Japan context. You can't, you, nobody can watch that show again, ever again. Um, it was a one-time gig. And so hopefully if you were lucky, you got it on some other website, but Japan's so uniquely strict about that kind of stuff about like, look, we just don't want anybody to see it unless it's controlled on television or through uh, our other sort of system like that. So. And it seems like they're getting stricter and stricter. This is maybe slightly uh, unrelated, but it was in the news recently, maybe a couple of days ago, that some foreigners have been arrested in Fukuoka because they have the leaked manga. the some manga images, yeah. I think a day before release Correct. or something like that. Um, and they've been arrested and questioned. I don't know what the consequences will be, but they really don't mess around with really uh, kind of sharing content, reacting to content, and want to keep it too private. 